Hello everybody, it's Garrett from Garrett Outdoors. Hopefully the traffic noise isn't going to be too bad for this, but I'm really excited about this video today. And this is something I've been wanting to do for quite a long time, and it's something I've been piecing together in my mind how I'm going to do it. And, uh, well, here we are. Today, I'm going to work on putting together some survival caches. And actually, these aren't going to be full, legit, real caches. This is like my starting experiments into caches. This is uh, me messing around with caches, trying to figure out what kind of containers I can get away with and what kind of packaging I can get away with. You know, I watch some people online, they put together some really serious caches that look like they could survive an apocalyptic event at ground zero but I also watched some people online put together some caches that I didn't think were gonna do that good and apparently they turned out really well so today I got a few containers here I'm gonna package the things a little bit different and I uh, get some different items I basically want to test so my theory behind this is I'm gonna take these items I'm gonna pack them in and then I'm gonna go out somewhere and I'm gonna bury them and then after a set amount of time, it's probably going to be around uh, six months, seven months, something like that. Basically, I want to see these get through the winter and into spring. And I want to see how the contents fared after that time period. So what we have are four different containers here. The first one is a tiny little coffee container. The second one is a larger coffee container. The third one is the dry box survivor survivor dry box <laughs> and the last one is a pelican case so basically as I'm setting this up is my my least prepared environment for any kind of outdoor underground cachet event is gonna be this one and it's gonna work up into what I think is slightly more and more prepared with a little bit of variation in that so let me get these containers and I'll show you what's going to go in each one. All right, so for container number one, we have this small Folgers container. And here are the items that we're going to test. Now, the items for each container are not exactly the same. So, first thing to go in is going to be a few bullets. Second is some strike on the box matches. Third is a very cheap knife. Fourth is a couple different coins. And a dollar bill. Next we have a USB drive. It is working and it does have a few different file formats saved on it. For food, I have uh, stolen some of my daughter's go or Go-Go Squeeze applesauce pouches. These things have an expiration date on them as May 3rd, 2019. So they should be good when I dig these things up. But they'll be close. So I'm really kind of interested to see what kind of uh, shape these are in when I dig them out. I have a really cheap one dollar LED flashlight and for this I don't have a battery in here I'm more interested in seeing if the circuitry survives so we're just gonna toss that in and then I have two different types of bandanas I have a hundred percent polyester bandana and a hundred percent cotton bandana shove those in there That one's ready to go. And for this one, I have less stuff in this one. The The small one, I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing the small one is going to get water in it. And it's going to have moisture get in there. And I wanted to see basically, almost as a control, inside the coffee container, what those items act like when they're exposed to moisture underground and the temperature fluxes that's going to happen. 
For the step up, this one doesn't offer much better water protection, but I'm gonna be putting the items in here inside plastic bags. So I wanna see how the items in here fare in plastic bags versus the items in here that are not in plastic bags. So for that, I don't need as many items to test that. I just need a few items. So what's going in this one? The exception to that is the money. I'm not gonna put the money inside a plastic bag. I'm curious to see the big container and the small container, if there is any kind of difference between them. So the money I am not protecting. Then we have some more bullets inside a plastic bag. We have some more applesauce inside a plastic bag. We have some matches inside a plastic bag. And lastly, we have one of these uh, steel or aluminum bottles. And it has a plastic cap with an O-ring built into it. I filled it with water. There's only the tiniest little air bubble inside it. And I closed it basically as tight as I could. Put that inside a plastic bag, and I'm gonna stick that in. Now with that, I'm curious to see if the temperature spikes and drops are gonna be sufficient enough to break this container open. Because I'll be burying it underground, it's gonna be somewhat insulated from the temperature changes, but I'm not planning on going anything like three or four feet down, I'm only gonna go almost almost down just below the surface there'll be just a little bit of dirt over the top of this so i'm really curious to see that if i was to put water in a survival cache how is it going to fare next we have the survivor dry box inside it i am not going to be putting the contents inside plastic bags i'm curious to see how dry this dry box actually is and so I'm not gonna protect the items inside it with plastic bags. I'm just gonna expose them to whatever the box will allow to get in. The contents of this one is gonna include another crappy knife, some more matches, some more money, some more bullets, and some more applesauce. Ready to go. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to try one of these Pelican cases. Now, I've had this for quite a while, and I thought I was going to use it for something else, and I ended up not using it, and it's just been sitting around collecting dust. So the Pelican case is going to go in the ground. But this one has the most inside of it. This is the one that I'm actually expecting is going to do the best out of everything here. This is something that sight unseen without testing, I might have trusted if I had no other choice. So I want to test it and see if I would have been sorry or not. So I have the widest array of different things in here, and I'm testing a bunch of different things with this one, and I expect it to do well. Hopefully I'm not wrong. We're going to find out in about six or seven months. But let me show you what's inside it. All right, once again, as part of my control here, I'm just leaving the money loose in the bottom. Next, I have a Nalgene-type bottle, a Fieldline Pro Series. And this one also is pretty much filled with water, just the tiniest little air pocket. We have an applesauce inside a bag. We have another USB drive. This one also has information and actually a, a video I made for YouTube on it. So that one's going in the bag. Next, I have a cotton bandana inside a bag, and I want to see 
if this stays completely dry and also what the material smells like if there's any kind of mold mildew I didn't do anything to super dry it it was just something from room temperature so I'm going to be interested and in see how that performs next I have a flashlight uh, I actually really like this flashlight so I hope nothing too bad happens to it it's a lantern flashlight and it has the batteries in it and it's in a bag I have another knife in here not a very good one uh, but it will serve a purpose here and I got it wrapped up in a bag bullets in a bag matches in a bag I have one of these Brunton battery packs fully charged if I was to try to put in some kind of a battery pack for any of my electronic equipment what might it be like over an extended period of time what's it going to be like going through the temperature changes and possibly moisture and other elements over a six seventh month period and then lastly I'm going to be testing three different batteries I got a standard alkaline energizer battery, I have an energizer advanced lithium, and I have an energizer rechargeable. All of them are new and fully charged, so I'm going to toss these in here, and uh, they're all in separate bags. I'm going to put those in and see how they fare through the weather and temperature swings. And this is as closed up as it can be. Now that's ready to go. All right, well I got all four of those ready to go. Now I just need to get out there and bury them. I'm gonna choose similar locations. It's gonna be in the same general vicinity, but I'm gonna pick different spots. I'm not gonna do them all side by side, but I'm gonna try to find ground type that's similar and similar moisture content and stuff like that. I want it to be as close as possible, but the reason I'm going to do it in different kind of locations apart from each other is I also want to test my cache locating skills. I'm going to try a few different techniques about how I'm going to locate the spots for where I'm going to bury them. And then I want to use different navigating tools for each one to try to mark where they are, how to find them, things like that. So when I go back to dig them up, I can practice and figure out what way works best. And we're talking about a video that's, as I've mentioned before, six or seven months out, but I'm really thinking what I might do is after I find my spots and I bury them, I'm gonna write up lists of where like directions on how to find them and I'm going to use different techniques so one might just be words one might be pictures one might be like a satellite image and one might be like GPS coordinates with a description I don't know that's just off the top of my head but uh, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give those instructions to somebody else and I'm gonna see if they can use my instructions to go out and find them and uh, That'll be a test all of its own. So let me know down in the comment box, which one do you think is going to fare the best? How do you think this is going to turn out? What do you think my results are going to be? I'm pretty excited about it. It's something I've wanted to do for quite a while. And honestly, if I would have done it when I was thinking about it, I not only would already have the results, but I already would have items out there cached, real world caches. So don't hesitate. Go out there and try it when you think of it. But uh there's no time like the present, right? We're going to give it a shot. We're going to try it. So anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, put those down in the comment box below, and I'll catch you guys next time.